A woman called Mary was doing her chores when an angel arrived but not through the doors. He simply appeared and she dropped to the floor. Social distancing! Two meters apart! Oh, I forgot to drop to the floor. Hello, Mary. God is with you. Don't be scared and please don't scream. God wants to bless you. This isn't a dream. You'll soon have a baby, the angel went on. A very special baby called Jesus, God's son. But I've been socially distant from my fiance. Wearing a mask, staying two meters away? How can I be having a baby? You're talking all kinds of crazy. Nothing is impossible with God, you will see. The Holy Spirit will make this big. Okay, this song's great. I feel really blessed. Then the angel went by, got up and left. All night Joseph tossed. All night Joseph turned. He just couldn't sleep. He'd only just learned that Mary was pregnant and had her admit that the babe she was carrying wasn't his. His memory foam mattress wasn't doing the trick. A good night's guarantee they were taking the mick. Just as sleep came, an angel appeared. Don't worry, he said, or in our case she said, there's nothing to fear. An important message you need to hear. The baby in Mary's expanding tum is none other than God's only begotten son. Call his name Jesus, for he is the one God promised to send to save everyone. Well, that's a relief. Joseph lay back and said, I'll stop my complaint to Benson's beds. Like 2020, it was one of those times where nothing seemed to work out fine. First, they were forced to travel afar by government rules and registrars. When you're 40 weeks pregnant, there's not much worse doom than a long donkey ride just to find there's no room. Then that very night in a stable no less, Jesus was born into that kind of mess. King of the world, God with us, an amazing sign of extravagant love. Counting sheep was working great. Whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on. Sheep? These are lions. Yes, but Sean only gave me two days notice. I've only got lion costumes, so we'll have to do. We'll go again. Sorry. Counting sheep was working great. The shepherd was struggling to stay awake. Oh, oh I <clears throat> When all of a sudden, there burst from the sky. A host of angels singing glory on high. Glory on high! What's all this What's all this Who are you all? We're the heavenly angels. Heavenly angels. Purple. Uh, Talk about wings. Ladybird wings. Do they look like angels? Again, two days notice. Get over it. It's all I've got. Oh, okay. The shepherd was quaking and shaking with shock. <laughs> All right. The angels told them he must not be afraid, for they had good news. Good news! What's this good news? There's been a vaccine for coronavirus. Donald Trump has gone in for four weeks. The dead word for Brexit is the 1st of January. No, no, not that good news. The real good news. Oh! Pack your bags. Okay. Don't forget your mask. Steel dogs. Get on your shoes. Crocs. Not a word, Mark B. Not a word. <laughs> And I've got socks on. Go to Bethlehem tonight. Away. Oh, See ya. And find the baby. Here's the light. And this will be a sign for you. This is how you'll know it's true. A baby wrapped in a cloth and sleeping in a cattle trough. 
her baby. That's a dog in a towel in a plastic box. The wise men watched the stars go by, looking for secrets in the sky. Is that really a job? wondered their wives. Did they take furlough or simply skive? Is that a star? Or a bird? Or a plane? A king's been born, one of them explained. Bethlehem way, or so it seems. That star is showing where the baby has been. So the shiny star led them to the place, a simple house, not some fancy place, and there they saw the little boy. They gave him gifts, a bit like a toy. Except the gifts weren't toys, they were rather strange things. First a nice bit of golden bling, then there were spices and smelly perfume, used on dead bodies, so that brought some gloom. much, Mary politely accepted. Then they left another way, so Herod wasn't affected. So what's the point of angels, shepherds, camels and stars, you say? Is it just a nice story to tell the children? On Christmas Day. It's not just a story, it's not just for kids. It's the hinge of which history swings. The, that Bethlehem baby grew into a man who challenged all powers and kings. He taught us that love is better than hate. That serving beats being in charge. He showed us the value of each human life. The little as well as the large. And then on the cross he died for us, died to take all our wrongs away. And then walked three days later, right out of his tomb, to turn death's dark night to day. And that is the good news the angels proclaim. The heart of all Jesus would do. A new life for now, a new life forever. That's his Christmas present to you.